What an exciting day it is for us. At long last, a president who came here on Tuesday to deliver an address to a joint session of Congress to talk about the challenges that we face. It was a message of realism, but it was also a message of optimism and hope. And just a few days later, he has sent to the Congress uh, the, uh, a blueprint, just the outline of his new budget, a new era of responsibility, renewing America's promise. At long last, a budget that is a statement of our national values, as the federal budget should be. Uh, the budget is consistent with the President's message of accountability, fiscal responsibility, transparency from the standpoint of how we approach it. Uh, it reflects the values that he conveyed about edu investing in education and energy and health care, uh, also in how we grow our economy through infrastructure and how we support our troops. Can you respond to the criticism Republicans are very centered on this tax increase on the wealthy that helps pay for those health care reforms? How do you respond to their criticism that you're going to stifle the economy if you approve this type of an increase? Quite frankly, I would have done it faster. I think my views are well known to you about how quickly I would have uh, repealed the tax cuts at the high end. Uh, the president takes a long review, a 10-year budget. And in the course of that time, uh, the uh, uh, tax breaks for people at the high end will expire, and that's part of the accounting in, in his budget. It is, it's not about uh, raising taxes. It's about ending a tax a cut that should not have been there in the first place that contributed enormously uh, to our deficit, which has not contributed very much to the growth of our economy. Do you need any more evidence of that? And uh, they, they will make that charge. It's the only charge they can make. But I, I would take it to a different place. This is a budget about a new era of responsibility. This is about accountability, fiscal discipline, cutting waste, fraud, and abuse, removing things like Medicare Advantage, which are a disadvantage to the American taxpayer. And, uh, and so it, it, all of this has to be viewed in the president has said by the end of his term he would cut the deficit by half. Uh, also pointing out that he has an inherited an over trillion dollar deficit this year. And perhaps, as one of my colleagues said yesterday, they have amnesia. At the end of the Clinton administration, the last four budgets were in surplus. President Bush received a, a, a budget that was uh, on track, a budget situation that was on track to be, uh, what, 500, 5.6 trillion, even more, 5.6 trillion dollars on that pathway. They re reversed it. It's like 11 trillion dollar reversal, the biggest reversal in the history of uh, following the fiscal situation in our country. So they sh or should be the last people to talk about um, fiscal responsibility because they've been fiscal responsible. We do not have the surplus you're talking about here. First of all, we're talking about a tax cut based on a budget we haven't seen on a surplus. We can't guarantee.